Hey, what's up guys? Cam with Harker Outdoors. We're doing something we've never done before and that's a comparison video between our camper, the Harker Outdoors EDC, and a competitor, the GoFast Camper. So let's see some key features, some differences, and uh, maybe that can help you in deciding which camper is best for you. So let's go. All right, let's start first by comparing the sidewalls of the camper because I think this is an important distinction. With the GoFast Camper, you have the tapered sidewall, which gives it a bit of a sleeker profile, but also does lead to a bit of a disadvantage in, in that you're unable to mount gear to the sidewall, also because it's a, it's a gull wing hatch on the side. Let's compare that to the Harker, where with the vertical sidewall, which will be a benefit on the interior as well that we'll discuss shortly, but it also gives you, in conjunction with our L-Track mounting system that you can see here, top and bottom, the ability to mount all of your dirty gear to the outside of the camper so that when you know, your traction boards get muddy, your ax gets used, or whatever else, gas cans that you don't want inside your camper, all that gear can mount to the outside of the camper, which is a huge advantage to the EDC. All right, let's look at the rear hatches of both campers. Very similar in this respect. Both have locking compression latches uh, and lift struts to get the hatch up and out of the way when you're loading gear. And for comparison, the EDC. Very similar. All right, let's get to the fun part. Let's set these campers up and compare some of those more critical differences inside the camper. The go fast, uh, you've got the latch system here. Very cool little um, levers that I believe they machine in house. And I think that's a very cool feature of this camper. Um, pop these both open on both sides. Give the camper <laughs> a light push and up it goes. Very cool. Now let's do the same thing with the Harker. A key difference here in distinction with the Harker camper is it utilizes what we call a standing entrance. And so that requires removing the rear hatch from the camper and I'll show you how that's done. So it's equipped with quick release gas struts that remove and clip up here into the hatch. All right, now this is one of my favorite features of the Harker. This is our, our latch hinge, okay? Uh, what that does is it allows this hatch to function as a normal rear hatch would, but by unlocking, twisting, and lifting, the whole rear hatch removes from the camper. Follow me around here to the side, and this beauty turns into 10 square feet of instant tabletop. And if you're like me, you know just how much tabletop space is at a premium while you're camping. Bringing tables is always annoying. You've got 10 square feet here just by virtue of setting up your camper. It's pretty cool, right? Okay, so we've removed the rear hatch. We've converted it into a quick table on the side of your camper. Next step is to undo your two latches and let the struts do the work to lift the camper the rest of the way up. There you go. Now, reach in here and grab this little hoop. Go ahead and get that to seat down in the pocket here. And you can see straight away a major difference here, right, between the two campers. The Harker encloses the tailgate, which gives you in these five foot truck beds an additional 30% of standing room. A common question we get about the tailgate annex is, oh my goodness, is that gonna let bugs and wind and whatever else into the camper? Come on over here and I'll show you what we've done. On the outside, there's three snaps that connect it to the side of the camper. And then you've also got two tether points that can take the annex and secure it either down under your vehicle or down to the ground. You also have here some bungee material inside that will snug the annex around the corner of your tailgate to really seal that off nicely. All right, so we, we talked about the standing entry on the Harker, and in order to incorporate that standing entry, it required removing a rear crossbar here from the design of the camper. You can see with the GoFast, that is still there. And what that means is when you're entering the camper, it's a crawl to enter situation. Now, they do also have doors on the side of the camper that can be accessed with a ladder, but for today, we're gonna show you how you'd enter from the rear of the camper.
I'm gonna open this door here so you can see me inside. And you can see what I'm doing. All right, so, I, again, I have no idea if I'm doing this right. And this is not a hatchet job on their camper, but I just wanna be able to show these differences. <laughs> Look, this is user error. This is not a problem with the camper. Okay, you may have noticed as I climbed in, hands and knees, across the tailgate into the GoFast camper, there was a bit of a trap door situation. These are the pieces that I lifted up out of the way. These are, they, they've got a, a hard piece on the bottom and then a built-in sleeping pad on the top. And those pieces can kind of stack here at the back. And then this piece is like, is like the frame, you can see here, that goes underneath those. So I lifted that and, and stacked it all back away here. Now, I think that that is very cool, but also really points out a distinction between the GoFast camper and the Harker EDC. That being the Harker Liftaway Sleep Platform, which we'll show you in just a second. But I also want to point out how the tapered sidewalls of the GoFast do greatly restrict the amount of interior space that you have. So we've got to maximize here to the best of my understanding. And you know, you're not even a wingspan, you know, side to side. So it does kind of restrict what you can do on the inside, especially when it comes to like cabinetry build outs or whatever else that you may want to do inside. Let's head back over to the Harker and, and see the difference. Okay, so we're back in the Harker EDC and we're comparing the sleep platforms. Now, one thing I haven't pointed out to this point in the video that I think is important to mention is that both of these are five foot truck beds. The GoFast is sitting on a short bed Tacoma and this is a Jeep Gladiator, both five foot truck beds. So we feel like we're giving a pretty fair comparison in terms of the, the platform the campers are sitting on. Okay, so let's talk about that sleep platform. The Harker EDC Liftaway Sleep Platform. First thing you need to know about this is it's huge. 90 inches long, which is seven and a half feet, 58 inches wide, which is just about five feet wide. So it's a massive sleep platform. When you are stowing it for driving or lifting it to the ceiling, as I'll show you shortly, you have four and a half inches of room for bedding that you can leave here stowed. So there's no stuffing your sleeping bags or your pads between campsites, as long as you keep it within that four and a half inches. All right, so let's show you the standing room inside the Harker. It's a piece of cake, guys two fingers and the entire sleep platform lifts to the ceiling. I'm six foot one, just for reference, and I'm able to stand clear at the back of the truck bed. Uh, my head is just barely touching the sleep platform here, but I am leaning against the back of the camper. One really cool thing here is uh, you've got a nice little workstation here, which is cool. You can see the huge difference the sidewalls make with the vertical sidewalls, tons more standing room. And uh, by virtue of the vertical sidewalls, the sky's the limit in terms of cabinetry build outs, whatever you wanna put in here, fridges, benches. We've seen some really cool build outs from some of our clients. This, uh, this client chose our, our electrical system here, which you can see on the side, which is an, an option we offer, um, as well as a roof mounted fan, which you can see here at the top. Uh, Carpeted sidewalls are a standard feature, which give it a really homey feel. Here's the interior of the, the Harker, guys. It's massive, it's massive. When you consider that you've also got the tailgate space, it's standing room. I'm gonna go ahead and bring the bed down so you can see, you know, okay, let's say your camping buddy or significant other, maybe they're one in the same. They're sleeping in and you wanna get out and get dressed. Even with this 90 inch sleep platform down in the down position, you've still got plenty of room here to get up, get dressed and do whatever else you need to. All right, next we're gonna do something kind of fun to compare the two campers. We're gonna put five people inside either camper and see just how much space you have there. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, with the help of Tim, Ethan, Jessica, Zach here and Gunner, the pup. Here's five people, right? One, two, three, four, five, inside the Harker EDC. And you can see we've all got plenty of room. We're not cramped and uh, we're just hanging out in here. So this is your real life uh, human example. Five full-size humans inside the Harker. Okay, so we're gonna try the same thing with the GoFast. We're gonna get all five of us in here and just show you real life what it looks like with five people inside the GoFast, just to give a good, fair comparison. Come on in, guys. Zach's leading the way and big thanks to Zach with All Jacked Up and Jessica, Zach and Jessica with All Jacked Up. You can find them on Instagram. This is their new Harker that we've been showing off today, by the way. And they were happy to be our, uh, our models here. 
And of course, Tim, he's been a Harker owner for a year and a half now. Oh, that's perfect, guys. Let's get in there. All right, is there room for me? Here I come. Okay. Yeah. Skinny thoughts. So here's five people inside the Go Fast camper. I think this really shows, with a real life example, what it looks like five people inside either camper. Uh, just to kind of demonstrate just how much interior room you've got over there in the EDC. Thanks, guys. Thank this is a little, too, a little too close for comfort? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, All right. Close. Thanks, guys. <laughs> All right, before we go, we just want to give a big thanks to Jessica and Zach with All Jacked Up. Find them there on Instagram and follow their adventures with their new Harker EDC. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Go have fun yeah. with this thing, all right? Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Thank awesome. you.